going to take a little uh, little moment to look at a video uh, quickly, and then we're going to talk to Lorenz Weekly. Weekly. <laughs> used to say I'm not bad shape for shape I am so bright moments to you and everybody else out there yeah and thank I mean, you I was so happy running you over that was the Eastern Market uh what is that seventh and what is, what's the seventh and C here? Street that's where we're typically. and that uh young lady that was singing with me is Miss Karen Lovejoy who's had quite a legacy already here in, in the Washington DC area and well, she both has of you have well, thank you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we, we're lucky that we can see you for free at 7th and C. <laughs> but, you know, you have quite a background. You and, and um, uh, Karen, Karen Love. Yeah. Love Both of, yes. I, mean, you just, I mean, I don't know where to start, but well, let me start with buskers. OK, because okay. you even told me you said, you know, that's what we are. So define that, and if, if you can, share a little bit of history. You may need to repeat that. I just yeah, had a little you, technical difference. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you now. Can you share a little history of sure. Buskers? Sure. Well, Buskers, uh, I guess, started out of Europe, England, I guess, specifically. But uh, for me, I started busking uh, for real, for real, back in 2014. Now. I always thought about being a street musician, but a little of my ego got in the way. And I remember when shortly before uh, Clinton got became president, I was asked to dress up in a Santa Claus suit uh, and play in front of his inaugural store because he played saxophone. And so I said, I can go incognito. And uh, I went out there and then a good friend of mine who's also had a very good uh, reputation of being an excellent musician and he has some history connected with the Eastern Market uh, music scene as well. He's now an ancestor, James Palmer, more also known as Kenyatta. And Kenyatta, by the way, means musician in Kiswahili. And that's mm -hmm. part of my name as well, but my, my traditional name. But uh, yeah, I started back in 2014 and it's been really great. Uh, uh, the gentleman who sort of got me to actually move on that was one of is one of the members of the uh, Malcolm X drummers and dancers and I started playing over it over at Malcolm X Park also known as Meridian Hill Park uh, and he said well that's that's just you and me as a drum he as a drummer uh, we started playing on uh, U Street in front of Ben's Chili Bowl so um, and yet I realized that any you know this was something that uh, uh, 
you know, I had little or no expectations because, you know, it's by the grace of people who are willing to donate. So I had little or no expectations. Uh, there was a little bit of concern on my part that this guy was like kind of asking people, well, you could do better than that and all that. And I said, no, that's not the right attitude. So I, I started going on my own shortly thereafter. Um, and I've been doing it pretty much as a solo artist until just about uh, summertime last year, Miss Lovejoy uh, joined me. And uh, it's been a tremendous collaboration. And uh, here we are. And so not only can people find you there at uh, 7th and C, but some may have seen you on stages. I know that you said you played behind Aretha Franklin, um, uh, Gladys Knight, some others. You've opened up some acts. Talk about that as well. Well, yeah. So I'm a relatively late bloomer uh, coming into the music. Uh, I considered myself back in the day as an OG, an original geek. And uh, I, I'm somewhat of a, well, I still have an interest in science and math. But uh, yeah, back in the early to mid 80s, I was able to uh, start really taking off uh, after playing with one of the noted, really notable musicians here, uh, Maria Rodriguez, who's also an ancestor. Her real name is Jean Butler. She was out of Cleveland, Ohio, and, I, and she had a Latin band. So I started really with her uh, and we uh, played at uh, such places that, as the Showboat Lounge, which is now a uh, songbird. I don't know if it's still on 18th Street, right next to the McDonald's at the corner of uh, 18th and Columbia Road. But then I also had the opportunity to start playing with some of the notable uh, Motown acts, starting with Gladys Knight, then with the uh, Four Tops and the Dells, uh, Lloyd Price, uh, Jerry Butler. We did some shows at the Carter Baron and throughout the area. And then and, uh, most recently, and sadly to say, with Aretha Franklin. So when, when she made her transition, I really, uh, you know, could feel that loss, if you will. Uh, but yeah, it's been a good run. And, uh, and then of course, uh, I've been a, uh, uh, a continuing student I'm, so, I'm more of an autodidact, so I tell people I'm working on my honorary bachelor's degree, but I've also had some very good experiences over at Federal City College slash UDC. Uh, and, and until the COVID hit, I was back trying to play with the big band or was playing with the big band under the directorship of uh, Mr. Mr. Alan Johnson, who's a phenomenal musician in his own right. Uh, shout out to my teacher, Leroy Barton and Dr. Edwards, uh, Dr. Barton, I should say. Uh, and so I think this uh, coming school year, uh, they have a, what they call a lot of, uh, I forgot the term, uh, but we don't have as many students there. So you have a lot of stand-ins, former students, older folks like me sitting in, and it's always good to be playing in that context as well. As right. well as I said, I had a chance to play with the Karen Lovejoy's group, the Lovejoy group. So. Right. I, I keep I keep referring to our young uh, um, guests who um, I'm going to have to you know move quickly to make sure uh, I give them some time. Sure. But I like the fact that you're saying you know you're you changed careers, you've been late at this, you you know still going going to school, uh, and you're still having success. So it's not you know it's not where you start, right? It's it's keeping the keeping the ball going. And I mean, how tell tell us a little bit about you know being there at 7th and C and really the reception that you get. I mean, it was great the day I was out there. Folks were dancing and all that. Yeah, well, I got to say that uh, there was some politics initially there because I, when I started going there for the very first time, I played down at the corner of 7th and Pennsylvania Avenue just down the block. Uh, and then there was a little bit of friction between uh, the, the facilitators, uh, which is under the DC government, so I actually played inside the outdoor cafe at 7th and, and C right there, Radici's. Uh, but there's almost been like a 180 degree turnaround where now um, Karen and I are getting this great reception. We're, we're being uh, basically asked to come and show up and compensate it. 
uh, by by uh, the the person running the uh, the vendors of you know doing the marketing over there. So uh, it's been really a great uh, experience, and so I've been there pretty much since 2014, 2015. So we're talking about seven years at least, and. Other places we played throughout town, I played in the Logan Circle area. I played initially at the uh, P Street between 14th and 15th in front of the Whole Foods. And I called myself playing musical medicine. And, uh, and I just want to note that uh, a good friend of mine who's also been in a lot of the uh, organizations, he died back in 2014. And he was at the uh, Joseph House, which was a uh, hospice, initially started for AIDS patients, but then uh, also uh, was open to people with terminal in illness. And my friend had cancer as a result of lung cancer. It went to his brain. And I was so impressed with uh, the attention, love and care that he received. And so I have to get back over there to uh, just share this gift because I think music, I tell people that uh, I like to practice music as medicine. And as we know, it's some kind of a sick world out here, but as okay. long as I can get people moving and like they say, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got a swing. So when I see people dancing and little children tapping their feet, people bobbing their head, I know I'm doing the right thing. Well, you definitely are, both of you, you and Karen, and I want to thank you for making, uh, now are you out there Saturday and Sunday or just? As um, long as the weather permits, yeah. I mean, okay. this beginning of the year was kind of challenging because we had this roller coaster weather ride um but yes typically every sunday and of course we're i'm always available uh, we're always available for private engagements as well uh, uh, people can reach me at my one of my web, uh emails i don't have much of a web presence but yeah. karen lovejoy if you go on google uh, uh uh actually what is it uh youtube she has a lot of things of her performances on YouTube under the Lovejoy group. So uh, check that out. And again, I can be reached at wheatley.music at rcn.com. Exactly. So, well, I think yeah. I think it would be a real treat, you know, for folks, one, to come and see you all down there, as I said, at 7th and C to, to drop a dime in the, or a dime or a dollar. <laughs> Whatever, you know, Whatever. And, and, and then and, and when people can't and, you know, as long as they are smiling that, you know, yeah. I know it's it, it's, you know, as I said, music is medicine and I give exactly. it away freely and exactly. I'm, we're blessed to get anything and everything that we've got. Well, I want to thank you for letting me disturb you. On oh, that no, Sunday. no. Oh, that, and yeah. I was so excited and the music was good and uh, it makes people just, you know, enjoy the day, which you really add so much to the, the spirit and flavor of the community. Well, it's, so thank you. Well, it's, it's our pleasure, my pleasure, and thank you. And bright right. moments, light, love, peace, and balance as you continue to give and take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. <laughs>